This past weekend, Fire and Ice Fury took place. Grants, New Mexico, Fire and Ice Park. We start off with Ron Baca versus Manuel Otero. Heavyweight, Baca popping around using his jabs. Here comes a big right hand. Baca taking out of this decision win. Here we have Jose Osario versus Guillermo Alvarez. Osario in the white shoes. Alvarez did what he could to make this a competitive bout. Tries to corner Osario, but Osario pumping the jab, showing more power, was the one backing his opponent, getting off the better shots. Landing clean there, that right hand. Couple jabs, Osario took the unanimous decision win, getting back in the win hall and rebounding from the recent loss. Next up, Ambrosio Batista, block on block. Yellow shoes right there is Andre Galarza. Both men were looking for big, heavy shots in this fight. Batista, unanimous decision win. Two judges gave him all four rounds. Here's our co-main event, Alex Holguin versus John Smiley. Herrera, Herrera is in the all black. Holguin popping that jab off, using movement. Showing nice angles. Herrera bringing the fight though as he's going to do this guy. Never deters as an iron champ and a smiley because literally every time you see his fight, the smut is smiling throughout the fight. Hulking again, pitter padding around with his shots, staying active. There against the ropes, showing his power. And he gets back off. Great action there at the end of the bell. Again, you just keep seeing volume, activity. You can't hit when you get seeing all this leather in your face. Hogan, now 4-1, and one. He has a decision win. Here we are, Josh Pitbull, Torres, Cameron Burrell, WBC, US, NBC, lightweight title fight. Back and forth action, big hits, hard leather being swung. The Pitbull is trying to move forward. You see Burrell go just devastating the left hand. Staying active, snapping the head back. Intense competition, tight rounds. Pitbull even, he had his moments. moments. He got real against the ropes. He was trying to do his work. They were exchanging. Another candidate to my list of possible fights of the year. Enjoy these highlights, ladies and gentlemen. If you were not there, make sure to get out to the next Chavez Promotions fight. This is what they bring. New Mexico boxing alive and well. Josh Torres, there was no give up in him. Real, there was no back down with this opportunity. Going into enemy territory, coming from the bottom. Here to New Mexico. The crowd is into it. Can you hear it? Here we are getting in the later rounds of the fight. Ruling war. Outdoors at night, raining, a little colder than a summer night should have been, but the action was red hot. They kept it going. Right there, we saw big right hands. And here's the flurry to end the fight coming up. Last moments of the war. By the end of the 10 round war, we had a majority decision with the winner and new WBC champion being Cameron Creel.